long as I remember, I have always wanted to fly. Some people are born with it, I guess. There is no flying history in my family, but something must have put the desire to soar into my soul. No, I never jumped off a shed roof with a Superman cape, but maybe that was the reason. I remember air shows with Dad as a kid, sailplane and hang gliding tiffs or trial introductory flights during my school years and also my first ride in a helicopter at that time too. Even when I was leaving school choosing a career, I was the technical type. I nearly took an apprenticeship as an avionics technician, but aviation never became my career, which I regret now. By 1997 my desire to fly helicopters really got me hungry for that career path. I went and did a TIFF and flew a Robinson R22 helicopter. What a blast. But no money meant no lessons, no career. The desire to fly intensified in early 2012. I tracked down the local microlight flying instructor and began lessons. I would quit if I ever stopped enjoying flying, but this never came, fortunately. The first lessons were a mixture of very early mornings and late afternoons of romantic sunset flights with the burly Aussie bloke in the back. I learned to enjoy sunrises and early mornings, such a beautiful time of day. I had it much easier than many. My instructor was local and very close by. This is not often the case in Australia. He was thorough and easy going. Thanks Mark. Now look what you have created. Me. I had six lessons in Mark's airborne outback two stroke trike. The opportunity came when I could buy my own and continued lessons in it. From then on my lessons were in the good reliable XT9124 stroke machine which I am still flying today as you have seen. I had plenty of time to get to know it. My first lessons turned into formal and disciplined circuits at the local Harvey Bay Airport. I was now a real pilot using a GA bitumen runway. Cool! Around and around and around. I also had written tests to cover off the theory side of aviation. Meteorology, radio, air law, human factors, Aerodynamics, most of you know the drill. The circuits continued in different crosswinds and strength. Thermals, not underwear, but welcome to Queensland. Around and around and around. The big part of the circuits and learning to work in with the local traffic was the landings. The hardest part to perfect, and the instructor wasn't going to be satisfied until the landing was repeated correctly many times in a row. More lessons. Oh yes, after the circuits there were more lessons and circuits. Maybe the occasional jaunt to the local paddocks for emergency landing practice without actually landing. Solo at last. That day came solo. Finally when the instructor asked nonchalantly, how do you feel about doing a couple of circuits alone? Ah, uh, let me think about that. Yes! With a mixture of feelings, excitement and being anxious at the same time, I was confident and completed two beautiful circuits, of course. This trike climbs like a rocket when you are alone, as I was forewarned it would do.
XC Cross Country. A very big solo trip was looming on the horizon. I needed an endorsement to allow me to fly out of my normal flying patch and out of my comfort zone and go cross country some 1200 kilometers each way alone and self-sufficient. It's March 2014. At this time I had 160 hours flying experience. I tracked down an instructor, did the theory and practical tests, job done. And now I really was free. I could actually fly around Australia if I wanted to. More of that later on in upcoming videos though. That more or less summarises my arrival at today's date. All that remains now is biennial flight reviews or BFRs to prove that you should keep your flying certification as all pilots have to do. From here I will continue to enjoy the sport and all it has to offer. Seeing Australia from the air is fantastic. I love the adventure and exploring the country areas like a bird. I have also been fortunate to fly on a friend's trike in New Zealand a few years ago and that was very spectacular country to explore. I am now a 400 hour pilot and still learning and willing to learn. If you want to fly, now is never a better time to seriously consider the sport. Maybe even hit me up, I'll take you for a ride if you're in the area. Hope you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking on the crayons.